Hello all and good evening. I am Shloka from Learn Bay and I welcome you all for today's master class on uh, unleashing the power of AI and NLP in property loans. Hope I am properly audible to you all. All right then. Um, yeah. Uh, so the ma- the topic for the master class today is unleashing the power of AI and NLP in property loans. Uh, we have our trainer Utkarsh Kulshesta. Uh, he's a data scientist at J.P. Morgan. And uh, he'll be talking about the impact of AI and NLP in traditional mortgage applications, benefits of streamlining customer services for property loans with chatbots, and market trends for adoption of AI in banking. So uh, please save your questions till the end of the session, and we will be answering all your queries. So over to you, Utkarsh. Okay. I hope my screen is audible to everyone. Is anyone speaking? Because I'm getting no audio. Yes. Okay. Fine. So now, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, This is Utkarsh. And uh, sorry for the delay because we were having some issues with respect to the connections. So right now, I'm your trainer for today's webinar. And today's topic will be application of AI and NLP in the home lending processes. So home lending is basically called as uh, uh, in simple terms, whenever you are applying for the home loans and some types of credits for the home uh, that comes under this particular uh, home lending area. So we have a lot of use cases available under the home lending industry, under the home lending area, specifically for the banks. Uh, Enable the chat option. Please enable the chat option. I think chat option is not enabled uh i am not sure host and panelist everyone okay so chest op- option is enabled but you guys can always write your questions in the q a so q a is nothing but the chat only okay so now uh again so ai and nlp in home lending is a very uh, large area, lot of use cases are available in this area. And before we will be going into this particular discussion, I'll just give a brief introduction about myself. And then probably after that, we will be discussing about the couple of techniques and use cases and some sort of a story around the, uh, home lending with use with the use of uh, artificial intelligence so my name is utkarsh kulshresht and i am currently working as a data scientist and i am having almost around 10 years of experience 10 plus year of experience i have worked into multiple areas multiple domains so i started my career with wipro technologies where i was working into the entertainment domain i worked for the colors star plus and uh, 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 some of the set top box companies in us I used to create the recommendation engines for them using the NLP technique. Later, I moved into Tata Consultancy Services in the manufacturing domain and I worked for General Motors, Tesla and these kind of firms, Rolls Royce, which actually does some sort of manufacturing. So any company which does some sort of manufacturing, I created the AI based model for them. And uh, later I moved into one of the startup, uh, which was actually uh, working primarily on the e-commerce and retail. And I was working for the projects like Dubai Duty Free, Kohl's, Walmart, these kind of areas I targeted in that particular time zone. And later I moved into ANZ, Australia and New Zealand Bank, where I worked as the retail banker and I was providing the solutions for the home lending space, specifically in the home lending space. I created a lot of models based on computer vision, artificial intelligence, natural language processing and machine learning for the home lending, business guarantees, bank guarantees, uh, uh, statement checks. There are there are n number of use cases which I actually uh, worked on to uh worked on to when i was in the anz australia and new zealand bank and uh, apart from that i also worked so currently right now i'm working into jp morgan and chase i work into the investment banking wing where actually i'm handling the investment bank accounts customer de- analytics customer deposits i create the recommendation systems for the uh, uh, uh couple of uh, areas like consumer banking business banking credit cards and these are the areas. So credit card is again, certain sort of, it is also kind of a lending mechanism, not specifically home lending, but I had an extensive experience of working into this particular space 
I know we will not be, I'll not be able to tell you each and everything, entire thing, what I did exactly into the companies, but I tried to summarize for you guys. I will try to give you the glimpse, like what all use cases are there, what all things we try to resolve. We try to solve in this particular area, uh, going forward. Uh, definitely. I worked for two to three years into this particular area, a lot of use cases and a lot of solutioning I have done, which I will try to give you a glimpse about. So if you guys have any questions for me, uh, you guys can ask me, I'll take it from the Q and a wherever in between you want to discuss anything. You can always discuss because we have the limited time. So you can always put up something into the Q and a, and I'll try to give you the answer. So I'll just give you a one minute. If you guys want to type anything and if you have any questions for me, I'll be taking it up. Otherwise I'll go, I'll be going forward. Okay. Chat. This is the chat only, right? No, we will not be going to solve any uh, real time world problem for that. You have to join this uh, uh, particular uh, course, which is being designed for this home lending space. So no, we will not be solving a real world problem, but we will be discussing about the pipelines and the fundamental use cases, which can be solved by using the uh, AI and ML. So we don't have enough time so we can solve an entire uh, problem here itself. Okay. Okay. So basically let me start then. So a couple of things which I want to discuss. So one of the thing is, uh, AI and ML and its uses in the banking sector. So basically one of the use cases, home lending. And of course, as we discussed, so in the home lending, before we go into home lending, there are three basic aspects of machine learning available into the uh, home lending space, which are specifically called as AI, ML and DL. So there is a confusion around the uh, industry, not in the industry, but the people who wants to join the industry that all AI, ML, DL, NLP, everything is same, which is not the case. Artificial intelligence is the technique to make computers to imitate human intellect and the behavior. Uh, machine learning is a subset of AI that uses statistical algorithms to learn patterns from the historical data in order to predict the future outcomes. And deep learning is a subset of machine learning that uses neural networks in order to learn the complex patterns and vast amount of data. So basically, uh, no, this is Q and a chat is different. Uh, so chat, I don't want to enable. We don't uh, want to do the chatting. We want to take only Q and A's. Okay. So are you going, you explain any model in home lending? No, I will not be going to explain any model in the home lending. We will be discussing about the use cases in the home lending, and we will be going to discuss about the, uh, job scenarios for the home lending area. Uh, the people who are from the BFSI domain and the people who are actually transitioning wants to transition into this particular banking space. We will be going to discuss about those aspects. I will be taking the Q and a for that, but no, we will not be solving solving any real time so it's it is not a workshop but it is mostly on the it is it is a webinar where we will be going to discuss about the aspects of the home lending along with the ai and NL, ml and how you can transition into those roles and if you have any questions how i can transition what can be done all those things uh, definitely no model because for discussing a model i need to teach you a model so for teaching a model that is a different altogether different ball game okay Okay. Hello. I am an operation departments. I'm in the operations department of Kotank Mahindra bank, which is a non it job, but I'm involved in risk analytics using Excel. So will my experience here be counted for my future data science job as a relevant experience? Of course. Yes, because what is happening? Uh, you have the domain knowledge. So yes, one of the, uh, requirement is the domain knowledge for any of the, uh, uh, bank related job. So if specifically speaking about the banks, if you will be specifically speaking about the banks, uh, banks prefer the people who are from the existing domain itself. Whereas if you will be going towards e-commerce, retail, manufacturing, entertainment. So these people generally don't care about the domain. They just care about the tech stack. So if somebody is a Java expert or not C programmer or not, if somebody is an expert of Excel or not, so they hire the people who are best into their particular tech stack area, but specifically speaking about the data uh, banks, banks cares most more about the uh, people who are having the domain knowledge. So if you are already in the, in the bank and if you are learning 
data science then they will give you an organic transition into this particular area and risk analytics as far as i know risk analytics is one of the most important area in the banking space and risk analytics is again one of the most important area considered for the data science industry as well specifically spe speaking about the bfsi so yes if you are already coming from the banking background then yes definitely you will be having more chances of transitioning your career as compared to others but that doesn't mean that the people who are not from the banking background they cannot transition as i told you in the start my first company was entertainment second company was e-commerce third company was manufacturing and fourth company was uh, banking but then my current investment bank hired me because i had the banking experience of anz so that is also another aspect but if you are exceptionally well into your tech stack definitely you can crack anywhere any place but yes if given a chance if i am the person and there is another person who is coming up from the kotak bank from the risk analytics area who recently learned data science compared to me this guy is having more chance uh, to crack the job if they actually know data science right so yeah so that's how i hope this answers the questions sir how fresher will place job will get placement job after completion of the certification course it is possible so it is possible yes so basically so i am associated with the learn bay and this particular uh, program this webinar is conducted by learn bay as of now so definitely learn bay provides you the ibm certified course ibm certified uh, syllabus so all the syllabus all the content which we guys are teaching you are all actually approved by ibm ibm analytics lab and the certification also will be approved by the ibm all the trainers are actually ibm certified which will be giving you the training about this so see uh, the there are two things one thing is who hires fresher first thing is this and second thing is that uh, if you are having some credible certificate available with you definitely chances of getting hired will be more without having the certification when you are going as a fresher so one thing is it is very difficult for a fresher to get the job into the domain and it is not about data science domain any domain in and for entering into the it industry itself it is difficult doesn't matter if it is data science or something else the thing is you have to uh, focus on the studies you have to prepare for the aptitude test you have to prepare for the certification you have to do well in the certification and then what happens in learn bay we are having sometimes companies also visiting and hiring from us sometimes companies are coming which are specifically searching for the freshers and in that way you can actually enter into the job but then i know many of the freshers uh, whom i taught in the past who got the jobs into the startups some of the times they cleared some rounds in the tcs and wipro kind of companies my own brother in law he studied in learn bay so he was a mechanical engineer he didn't get job after the completion of the btech and after one year he did this particular course and uh, he he got the job in the uh, capgemini so he was a fresher he was able to get the job but then again as i say who hires fresher nobody gives a shit about freshers nobody wants to hire freshers so that is another aspect of the coin but you have to do the hard work we can guide you but i cannot guarantee you so i can't guarantee you learn bay operations team can talk to you more about this you can probably schedule a counseling call with them they can help you to find out this but i am just telling you my experience and always i always believe if you will be doing the hard work if you will be doing lot of efforts definitely things will be uh, enabled for you okay will their certificate after this session yes operations team will be informing you they probably be sharing the certifications with you the webinar recording is available i hope yes recording is going on and you may be getting the uh, uh, recorded uh, videos as well okay so now uh, one of the uh, home landing uh, process so basically before we will be going into the discussion about the home landing some of the discussions around this particular use case i want to do so what is home landing and basically what kind of things we are doing into this so simply speaking if you will be talking about the machine learning model machine learning model are basically based on four types of aspects one is the data second one model itself third one is execution and fourth one is monitoring so what happens basically first thing is you have to collect the data now what kind of data we want to collect so basically these are some of the 
examples i have taken what kind of data you can collect so some suppose let me talk to you about the simple example of the home landing so i'll be taking the q and a you can you can put up your questions i will be keep on taking the questions in between and i will be answering and side by side we will also be going through the slides so now what is happening simply I, let me discuss about the home landing process so whenever we are applying for home loan or anybody who has already applied for the home loan or the people who are planning to apply for loan so generally what happens whenever you are applying for a home loan so there are multiple things which a banker is seeing before giving you the home loan for example uh, your uh, uh, age your date of birth your address uh, your demographics demographics for example family details for example your marital status are you a married person or not do you have family how many kids you have education what is your education what is your employment what is your employer name what is your current salary what is your uh, income then your credit history investments tax details bank statements pending cases so do you are you having any legal cases running on so we have segregated these particular data sources into multiple uh, places financial status legal status assets and land health utilities online e-commerce social media activities travel and tourism so on the basis of these particular aspects from a customer we are actually deciding if somebody should be given a loan or not and this is what I exactly a banker is also doing so now simply speaking if i'll tell you generally speaking whenever you are actually giving the home loan to anyone it is a process of one to one and a half month before you will be getting the home loan approved so basically you have to submit a lot of documents you have to submit bank statements credit history everything you have to submit and then somebody will be sitting in the bank who will be actually going through your bank statement they will be checking your bank statement they will be checking your pay slips they will be doing the verification about your marital status and all these things and on the basis of all these activities they will be going to decide finally if you have to be given a loan or not right now all this circus which i am talking to you is i am talking to you about only one customer now suppose let me take an example of hdfc bank hdfc bank is getting 20000 home loan request every day daily basis they are take, getting these 20000 request now just think if for one person only we are taking one and a half month, two month of the time, then suppose if somebody who has applied for loan today, HDFC will be able to reply them after one, one and a half year, if this much of time will be consumed. So basically this is a problem. This is the use case, which is available into the market and majority of the banks are facing these issues. And that is the one of the, that is one of the reason why you will be seeing now the data science teams popping up into HDFC, ICICI, uh, Citibank, Standard Chartered. You just run through the LinkedIn and you will be getting all of these people available online who will be offering the data science jobs. So basically these particular data science and model building in this particular area can help you to identify the pain points. And basically this will be helping you to uh, come up with the automated machine learning model, which can automatically find out if whom to give the loan and whom not to give the loan. So as I spoke to you, 20,000 people a day, you will be needing a large man force, manpower, work power. So probably for, op for, uh, going through the 20,000 home loan request, at least I need 5,000 people. At least I need minimum 5,000 people. And if each person I will be assigning four requests, then these 5,000 people will be able to do this work in next one, one and a half month, because then they have to go through the bank statement, everything, all these things has to be done. So now this is where AI ML comes into picture. If you will be building a machine learning model for this particular use case, then what will be going to happen? The entire process will be completed within one and a half minute to five minutes maximum and this will be saving the money for the banks in terms of uh, population in terms of technology so for example previously i had to work with the 5000 people but now i can fire those 4000 people i can run my bank only with 500 people or 1000 people as well no need to hire a large workforce because automation is happening so this is one of the area where the firing happens, layoffs are happening into the uh, non-technical industry where the people who are from the non-tech background, for example, that Kotak Mahindra guy who was asking the question. So many of the banks now what they are doing, they are actually creating the AI model for the work which this guy is doing. 
So whatever work he's doing in the risk analytics area, whatever work he's doing in the Excel. Now we are developing the tools, AI models using Python programming and R programming. So this work can be automated and we can fire this guy. So this is the ultimate aim of AI. So AI has two aims. One is optimization and optimization is always happening via the layoffs. Okay. Another meaning of optimization is that you reduce the time you re reduce the work effort for the current workforce. So today, suppose I'm doing something which is taking one hour of time tomorrow, this AI and ML and this automation should do this work into four to five minutes. So there are multiple areas where AI ML is going out, going, cutting through the uh, industry and eating up the jobs layoffs are happening. And on the one side, the demand for data scientist is very high on the another side. Uh, the existing people into their existing tech stacks are be being getting fired, right? So this is how things are happening into the industry. So these are the couple of features which I'm showing you for the home landing. Okay. Will I'll take a couple of Q and a, what are all the tech stack and languages we will use in this session? In this session, we will only be using English language, nothing else. Uh, sir, what is the difference between AI and ML? Okay. So AI and ML is basically uh, machine learning is the process where you are actually taking the historical data, which is available. And on the basis of this historical data, you will be doing the predictions. So for example, again, I will be taking the example of our Kotak Mahindra guy. So this guy right now making the Excel sheets, he is doing some sort of analytics for the risk area. Right now, what all analysis he has done in the past, all those analysis are stored somewhere in the database or probably in the form of Excel sheets. He is storing into somewhere in the hard drives. Now what machine learning algorithm will do machine learning algorithm will go through all of his analysis and it will learn all these patterns. It will learn what all analysis he has provided for what particular kind of use cases. And then going forward next time onwards, we will not be needing this guy. We will, our algorithm will be uh doing the predictions for us now on the other hand artificial intelligence is something which is the uh combination of multiple aspects which is the combination of machine learning nlp computer vision and all these things so simple terms what i can say uh self-drive cars so the concept of self-drive car is called as artificial intelligence why it is called as artificial intelligence because uh, i'll take your question amar so uh why it is called as artificial intelligence. The reason is when you are driving a car, you are able to identify the lights. You are able to control the speeds. You are able to, you are driving, you are driving the car. You are controlling the brakes. You are controlling the speed. You are also visualizing the traffic. You are also visualizing, visualizing the traffic lights. And accordingly, you are taking the decisions from the multiple inputs on the basis of these multiple inputs. You are deciding uh, the final outcome. Now self-drive car is something which is trying to mimic the human behavior, but actually it is not a human. So this is a artificial human. And that is why the name is given as artificial intelligence. So <laughs> when you are working with only one single algorithm in the AI area is called as machine learning. But when you are working with multiple algorithms, which are having different objectives, working together simultaneously to take up a decision is called as artificial intelligence. So for example, in case of driving a car, you are not only looking onto the traffic, you are looking onto the uh, traffic lights, you are looking on the traffic, you are looking on the speed, you will be checking if you have fuel or not. Everything together will be uh, giving, taking the, will be making you to take the final decision how to drive the car. So that is called as AI. Now, in detail, you guys can understand when we will be actually uh, going into the particular area in detail in the classes, not in today's webinar. So there are a lot which is there apart from this particular thing. So yes, Amar, you were having some question. Probably you want to write it down because I'm not sure if I can enable the, uh, I can enable the, I think everybody's mute by default. So you have to write down the questions if you have. Okay. So now basically this is the data sources part. Then on the basis of this data, you will be developing a model and on the basis of this model training, this model can give us the generate the outputs. It can tell us like whom to give the loans, whom not to give the loans. And one bigger level of life cycle I'm showing you here, like how data science life cycle looks like. So basically first portion is where you have data acquisition block. 
and in the next section we are having eda data understanding feature engineering we are doing the feature engineering then model creation and training and validation then model deployments data analysis model monitoring model drift analysis with data visualization business understanding and problem identification so we are starting from this particular area where first we will be defining the problem that i want to use the uh, uh, i want to create a model which can work in the home lending then let's understand the home lending business how home lending business works so in this area basically if you are already coming from the banking domain then this business understanding process will be very easier for you problem identification will be easier for you data acquisition will be easier for you understanding of data will be easier for you only you have to learn the part of feature engineering and model creation that is why the people who are preferred in this banking domain is the people who already are from the domain so let me take up a question thank you for your explanation why are we combining ai into data science so because ai is the part of data science okay all these are part of data science industry so we are combining it into the uh, this particular umbrella now another thing is once your model will be built you have to do the productionization of your model you have to uh, productionize the model you have to deploy the model and then we can do the model monitoring model monitoring is basically now what kind of result model is giving how much loan you have applied for all these things comes under this data science life cycle okay now so top reasons banks are using the artificial intelligence is basically because it gives you the data analysis and insights it will increase the productivity there are cost benefits which are called as savings so i shown you like when in the home loan process home lending process you will be utilizing this particular machine learning modeling technique what will be happening productivity will increase cost cutting will happen because we can do the layoffs and all the works previously which were done by the human beings can be done by the machines now directly so that is the beneficial part by using the artificial intelligence now uh, some uh, detouring i am doing for the people to explain about the career prospects in the banking so basically what all careers are available in the banking area so one of the careers couple of careers which are available are called as banking consultant so one of the area which is available is called as banking and in the banking what happens you guys can join as the machine learning engineer business analyst and these kind of people who can actually be uh, working as the machine learning consultant data science science con consultant we have multiple profiles available customer behavior risk profiles time series analysis and all these kind of similar things now another profile and consultant is the profile which is being taken by the people who are having less than 5 year experience sometimes 5 to 7 year experience people are also getting the consultant profiles now vp vp is another kind of profile which you can get into the banks vp is one of the big profile in the banking industry banking sector and vps are generally uh, have the experience more than 10 years so the people who are having 10 plus year experience or who are lying in the range, experience range of 8 to 12 years they are generally becoming the vps in the organization in the banking organization okay now data analyst data analyst are the people who are analyzing the data who collect the data who works with the data sources so i told you about the features and data engineering and all those aspects so data analyst is another profile which is available in the banks which is basically again targeted by the people who are having lesser experience less than 5 year experience generally freshers also go into this particular kind of area and data scientist data scientist is the compliance analytics so basically banks works in a very regulated environment so banks have many of the uh, areas where you have to keep a cap like for example rbi has decided some of the interest rates you cannot go beyond those interest rates you cannot give the loan only to one single company and you have to follow couple of rules and regulations which are designed by the federal reserve in us or probably in rbi by rbi in india so basically compliance is also one of the area where data science roles are available and data scientist people are generally part of the team they can also be holding the roles of the leads so generally data scientist can also be working as the lead engineers in the uh, organization and these area these people should be uh, good in mathematics statistics computing computing means machine learning and artificial intelligence visualization of the data so data scientist is a person who is basically knows everything in the ai world 
और ही नोज विजुअलाइजेशन डेटा एनालिसिस एवरीथिंग ही नोज दूस पीपल आर कॉल्ड एज डेटा साइंटिस्ट एंड डेटा साइंटिस्ट इज वन ऑफ द हाईएस्ट पेइंग जॉब इन द बैंकिंग सेक्टर नाउ आई हैव टेकन दीस पर्टिकुलर सैलरीज फ्रॉम योर एंबिशन बॉक्स सो एंबिशन बॉक्स हैज शोन दीस पर्टिकुलर एवरेज सैलरीज व्हाट एवरेज एनुअल सैलरीज वी कैन हैव फॉर पर्टिकुलर प्रोफाइल्स uh so uh, these are very less actually in actual scenarios in the data science industries salaries are way high uh, whatever you are seeing the numbers here you can just make them as double so whatever average number you are seeing if you are seeing for data scientist salary 15 lakh then it is 30 lakh actually but ambition box is not showing the correct salaries as of now but this is the data best data i was able to get from the uh that particular website but again as i'm saying these salaries are very very less what is being displayed here salaries are double of what actually shown in this particular slide okay uh and i know this because i take lot of interviews i do do the do the lot of hirings in the companies i do a lot of hiring for other companies i have settled up the teams in us uk hungary and poland as well i know the market what are the salaries right now in the uh scenario current scenario for banks so banks are paying very well banks pays very high salary so yes so couple of our students are uh, working into wells fargo recently last year only couple of people from our uh, organization our institute joined wells fargo and they joined at the package of 45 lakhs and 47 lakhs on the experience of 7 uh, uh, or 8 year experience so they were having this experience level of 7 years to 12 years and all of them are right now working into wells fargo at the package of 47 lakh 52 lakh one of the person also joined at 28 lakhs in the wells fargo so these are the salaries i know personally because they told me uh, on call so salaries are way high which are being shown you here okay and uh, again this is another chart which is showing you the similar kind of salaries take home salaries so simply i have just added for your uh, reference purpose so i'll just take some q and a's if you guys have some question and answers sir can you please tell about interviews for data science job interviews in what way basically so interviews means what machine learning and data science they are asking generally so another thing is uh, team structure of a data science professional in banking area so we have chief data officer data analyst business analyst we have machine learning engineers data journalist data architects data engineers and data visualization engineers so multiple kind of uh, people profiles are available in the data science industry in the banking industry you can target any of the profile whichever you like uh, whichever suits you more which as per your experience and in particular area if you have the interest for example somebody likes to do the visualization right and they they create very good visualizations they have lot of very good imaginations for uh, visualization then these people can target this particular area as data visualization engineers and apparently uh, if you have this particular kind of uh, uh, artistic view available uh, then you will be one of the highest paid uh, person in the data science area in the visualization domain okay okay so for data science job okay apart from banking sector anywhere data science professional requirement is there uh okay so basically uh, many of the times i am getting this particular question that uh, in which all companies data science is required in which all kind of companies data science is required is data science required everywhere or data science is only required to limited companies so my only question i always answer this question with a question can you tell me any area or any company where data science is not there right now any company any place any area can you tell me space science space technology okay when you are going to the space outer space it is data science banking data science e commerce retail banking data science walmart flipkart amazon all is based on data science people who bought this they also bought this you may also like so these kind of recommendations are coming from data science netflix hotstar z5 all these portals are work, giving you the recommendations on the movies because of the data science health area in health sector we are using the multiple machine learning algorithms to find out if somebody is having what particular kind of Uh, surgery or 
uh, what particular kind of disease they have can be identified by using the data science model so entire area you talk about any area you talk about any company data science is everywhere as of now or if it is not there people are right now implementing the things last year only reliance geo has started data science teams many of my people many many of my uh, students have joined geo as the data scientists so even reliance geo has started doing the data science in for their uh, reliance smart for their geo for their uh, communication area for their fashion store retail store so my question my answer for this question is a question do you know any area where data science is not being used so if you know please tell me hmm? let me know data engineering experience will be count and what will be the course duration and fee structure so yes data engineering experience will be definitely counted in your data science experience it will be an additional plus for you if you are coming from this particular background if somebody is telling me that i am from the data engineering background then actually you are already in the data science area so it is just you have to take an organic step to come into the modeling side fees structure and course duration this is the operations team will be telling you you have to collect with the connect with the learn bay team learn bay team and i will be handing over in in, in some time probably at 6 o'clock i'll hand it over to shloka who is our uh, 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 operations lead in learn bay she will be helping you with the understanding of the uh, uh, program understanding with the fees and she can also you guys can also schedule your uh, one on one calls with her to understand in detail what is happening she can tell you the fees structure as well as course content i can guide you about the technology part okay so yes definitely your data engineering experience will be counted can i connect on linkedin for further help yes feel free to connect on linkedin no issue what are all the tech stack programming languages that is used in data science ai and ml what all of them will be using in today's session see today's session is not to teach you data science guys please understand this you cannot learn data science in one hour session or two hour session or even in one month of the classes data science for learning data science you have to join the entire course it will take 6 months of your time minimum 6 months of your time and then you will be able to learn the data science so no we will not be learning anything in today's session we will be just discussing about the tech stacks and banking sector and some of the technologies on a very bigger level i will be giving you the bird eye view but actually if you want to learn the data science not possible in one day you have to join the 6 months course then only you will be able to learn or in one day you can learn one source i can give you you guys can go to youtube on youtube you will be getting some youtube videos which are 30 hours long 40 hours long so those videos you can watch in 30 hours in one day then probably in one day you will be able to complete okay but again we have 24 hours in a day so probably in next 3 days if you will be watching 10 10 hours each then probably entire data science course will be covered but no uh that is one of the vague way to do that so we will be needing 6 months of time if you want to become a actual professional in this particular domain don't never ever try to think that that if some domain is paying you so high so it is a very simple domain then they will be just paying you like that only you have to do the hard work nobody will pay you 50 lakh salary without doing the hard work there will be a hard work there will be a path on which you have to walk and walk on to but learn bay will be helping you in case you are interested right so this seminar is just for discussing all those kind of aspects how to transition is this course suitable for me and first of all does it make sense for me to join learn bay for example now one of that person who asked me the question that i am from kotak mahindra bank now this guy i really want to join i i want this guy to join learn bay because he is already into banking sector he is already in the risk analytics and he is already working on the excel i want him to come and join in this particular place because then he will probably be able to uh, transition himself in as a machine learning engineer data scientist going forward but suppose then if somebody who is just from working into some of the uh, uh, or probably some somewhere like which is not related to at all uh, with the data science or anything else so suppose somebody who is a chef right 
So somebody that I am a chef and I want to explore that if what I can do with data science, I really don't want these people to join, right? If somebody who is a chef, what they will do in data science, right? If somebody who is a, uh, uh, probably who is a, uh, dentist, right? Who is in the dental care, who is in the medical. So I don't want them to join, right? Simply. So I I'm also, I, so this webinar or seminar will give you an idea how much relevant for me this particular area is and should I waste my money on this particular institute or not? Should I give my money to learn by or not? Will it be having any uh, 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 useful, fruitful use if I will be joining the course, right? So all these things you can evaluate after this particular session. And that is where like QA we have kept. So in the QA, I can take up your questions. So there are a lot of tech stacks available, Python, R programming, machine learning, modeling, statistical modeling, deep learning, NLP, lot of things are there. But again, we cannot teach you all these things in one single class. It takes almost, so six months is the minimum time frame which I'm talking to you. People are doing for one year as well. What all are programming languages required to train the data? So right now, Python and R programming are the two acceptable languages in the uh, data science area. Number of mentors. So we have infinite number of mentors available in LearnBay. So uh, you don't have to worry about the mentoring part. So for each and every module, you have different mentor, different professionals available. I also sometimes take machine learning classes, deep learning classes, NLP classes in LearnBay. Then similar to me, there are hundreds of trainers available with us who are coming from the industry, who are actually working live into the industry, who will be teaching you. So a lot of people are there. So a lot of mentors are there. And one of the best part about LearnBay is suppose you joined LearnBay and you are into my batch. Okay. Now what is happening? You are not able to understand whatever I'm, I'm teaching you and you are not happy with me. So LearnBay gives you the benefit to join another trainer's batch, another mentor's batch. You can keep on shifting to different batches unless you are having the same frequency as your trainer has. So you can get multiple trainers, infinite number of trainers are available and that is not an issue at LearnBay. Okay. So I am mechanical engineer, how I start my career. So in this start, I told you about my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law was a, is a mechanical engineer and he is a data scientist as of now. So that is the answer of your question, but how to start your career? You have to join, right? So that is the whole funda behind this particular uh, webinar. So we want to guide you, but then how to do this, what to do, how you will be able to crack it out. You have to join this particular syllabus and then we will be only able to guide you how to do that. And statistics is the prerequisite. There is nothing is the prerequisite for anything. Everything will be taught to you in LearnBay from the scratch. If there will be prerequisite and if you will already be knowing this syllabus and subjects before joining the institute, then why you need to join the institute? You can join as a mentor and you can actually start teaching here. So no, we are not expecting any prerequisite. Uh, whatever is your current domain and profile is, you come with that, we will be transforming your profile. We will not be requiring you to uh, worry about the uh, prerequisites or to study something and then come to class. Everything will be taught to you in the class, including programming. I am from rural development sector. Should I join data science course? I will be needing more information. Uh, basically what you do there, right? So I need to understand from you, like what you do there. Probably you can ping me on the LinkedIn and over LinkedIn, basically you can, uh, give me more idea about your profile and probably you can talk to, uh, our, one of our, uh, uh, counselor at LearnBay. So they can actually give you more better idea. But just by designation, I can't tell like, is it beneficial or not? DSA is also required for interview. No, for data science, science, data structures are not required. Data structures is a separate domain. Can we learn data science from ourselves and get this much of package as a data scientist? Yes, of course, you can learn from yourself. You There are N number of resources available online. There are N number of courses available online. Available online where you can go and you can learn always. There are n number of articles you can get over Google. Uh, Medium is one of the website. Analytics Vidya is another website where you can go and you can learn. The only problem is basically uh, it is very cluttered. 
right now if you will be going on to analytics with your medium kind of websites there are 10 million articles available which are written on data science so how you will be going through those 10 million articles so the only benefit is if you will be joining some course so i am not forcing you that you join only learn you join anywhere wherever you like there are n numbers of institutions available which are teaching data science right now so whichever you like you can join it is up to up to you but my recommendation personal recommendation is if you don't have any financial issues, if you are okay with the finances and if you are not facing any financial issues, then please join some of the institute, one of the institute, because then they will give you the guided information. Then you will be, they will be guiding you, right? What needs to be learned? What needs to be left out? How to get the job? What all things you have to focus on to? They will give you assignments. They will give you the projects and live projects. So basically things will be easier and probably if you will be doing on your own, it may take two years for you, but if you will be doing with the institution or under the supervision or guidance of some of the trainers, some of the great trainers from the industry, like, uh, Utkarsh Kulshresht, uh, who is talking so highly about himself. So basically your target will be achieved from probably within three to six months only. So that will be the benefit if you will not be doing uh, in that way. And simply uh it's better to be a guided missile than to be an unguided missile so unguided missile can hit anywhere right but guided missile will always be hitting on the target so that is the only thing some guidance and uh information is required but again if you have the financial issues i will recommend that don't join the institution then go through the uh, uh resources available online right if you don't have the financial issues definitely come to the institution not learn by anywhere wherever you like do you go take the demo classes everywhere wherever you are comfortable join the course there it will be more helpful right and if you have the financial problem let me know connect with me over the linkedin i'll try to help you out personally or probably we'll we'll figure out some way if you are really interested into the study. So I am a trainer. I am a trainer from past five, six years. My father was a teacher. My grandfather was a teacher. So I am from that DNA line and I love people who wants to uh, learn something, who wants to come out of their comfort zone. There are very less people in the world who wants to come out of their comfort zone and who wants to take risks, who wants to learn new things and wants to transition and change their uh, career entirely. So I love to help these kind of people. And I have, I have changed a lot of people's career uh, during my last five years. So I will help you out and don't worry about learn bay. It's not needed that you should always come through learn bay to me. Ping me. If you have certain kind of issues, uh, we'll try to solve it out for you. I will try to solve it out for you, sir. I'm pursuing final year computer science degree, but I'm poor in statistics and probability will learn by help me to improve my skills. Yes, of course. So you will be taught here, uh, what all, uh, modules are required for data science, LinkedIn profile. You will be getting in the end, sir is data scientist interview is tough. Um, not tough always. So it is simply same way. So Google interview is very tough, but TCS interview is very uh, easy. So for data science also, this is the same thing. Bigger will be the company. Uh, bigger will be the uh, interview. Tough will be tougher will be the interview. Higher will be the package. Tougher will be the interview. So no gain, no pain, no gain. More will be the pain. More will be the salaries. More will be the hikes. So my name is Utkarsh Kulsresht. Okay. So uh, you can get it out on the later part. So sent you a connection request. I really want to go towards DS MLA. I will need some help from your side. Of course. Sure. I will talk to you over the LinkedIn. So anyways, so as, as I'm seeing like lot of you are now interested into the understanding about the course content and course fees and scenarios. So let me do one thing. Let me uh, talk to my operations manager. Let me bring her here. I'll, I'll request Shloka if she's available, if she can join us and she can explain something about the course content and the structure. So it will be helpful for the people. So let me bring her, let me provide her the controls. Just give me two minutes. Let me bring her. So, okay guys. So Shloka will be joining us soon. Uh, so Shloka is our, uh, uh, learned by operations manager. She will be joining soon and she will be explaining you more about the course content, course structure, and probably the fees structure. If you guys are interested, she, she will be telling you the fees structure as well. And you can ask your questions to her as well. So 
before in the meantime when she is joining i would like to show you a few more things so basically programming skills i have joined hello I, yes shloka uh, so yes yeah, yeah. so guys i'm handing it over to shloka now so she can actually give you the idea about the course content course structure duration and the fees and then probably uh, uh, we can actually wrap up our session and any other kind of questions you guys will be having for me you can either reach out to shloka or you can always reach out to me via linkedin if you are not joining the learn bay but if you are joining learn bay i will always be available here so shloka over to you thank you shloka for joining yeah 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 hello everyone um so i hope you must have enjoyed the master class by utkarsh and uh, like just a quick introduction uh, like we at learn bay uh, provide ibm certifications uh, and we have over 250 plus uh, placement partners with us and uh, we provide um, like uh, our courses mostly uh, designed in a way that is uh, suitable for both like uh, working professionals as well as the freshers and uh, you can learn at your own convenience like we have live sessions like uh, the live interactive sessions and we also have uh, recorded sessions so uh, you can like um, anytime clear your doubts and get in touch with the counselors and uh, like uh, for any more details uh, you can also visit our website um, if you have some like um, we do have provide some uh, uh, personalized counseling as well so uh, like if you find anything you can like uh, shoot me an email at uh, shloka.jain at the rate learnway.co and uh, like i'll be getting in touch with you uh, so uh, like do you have any questions please please mention it in the qa session uh, so uh, do you have placement partners in europe uh, like uh, we have many many placement partners so uh, i think like uh, we do have uh, people from like um, we do provide jobs to um, uh, like across the globe so like uh, as uh, europe i i need more information in that like what's your domain and everything so you can mention it over the chat or you can just uh, like directly contact me for the counseling um any more questions uh course duration and fees uh, so uh, we have multiple courses uh, like when it comes to the ds part so uh, let like uh, we have advanced program we have master program so uh, like uh, they all are like uh, it's like uh, do 50 plus hours of uh, hours of study or it might be like take uh, 400 hours of study so uh, that actually depends on which program uh, you are going ahead with and with that we also provide a life project uh, experience to you guys so uh, like you know what is going on in the in the world like in the real world so yeah um, you can find everything on our website any more questions guys Uh, ma'am, if you place somewhere to learn, we after few years of experience, learn we will help us to move forward. Ah, uh, yeah. So, ah, uh, like, ah, uh, if you go ahead with the subscription of Learn Bay, ah, uh, we have like, ah, uh, we'll be give, providing you with the interactive classes for three years. So you have three years to ah, uh, like, ah, um, uh, you'll be having all our uh, materials or our login credentials, and you can use it in three years. So, ah, uh, like. uh most of our students get placed in like 6 to 7 months so um if they want to switch again if they want to boost their careers they like um they can start with the um the regular program then they can go ahead with the master program and so on so uh, you will be having the credentials for 3 months or uh, 3 years any more question guys If anyone does not find the course is good for him, ah, uh, exit process. Ah, uh, so uh, I uh, so exit process is, um, it's convenient. I think. Ah, uh, like, ah, uh, I actually haven't gone through any cases. Ah, uh, with this scenario, like they joined and uh, they actually enjoyed the classes. So, ah, uh, exit process. I'm not very aware of it, but it it's very easy. So yeah, you you don't have to be worried about that. 
uh uh yeah you can take uh, like um, you you will be having the access and the credentials for the account so either you can attend the live uh, sessions or you can listen to the recorded sessions that that is totally up to you any more questions guys uh can a person with zero knowledge and action uh yeah so uh in learn way we like we treat everyone as a fresher and like we'll be teaching them from the scratch what is the course how, like what are the tools we use and and uh, like uh, from the scratch we will be um, helping you guys so you don't have to be worried about any additional knowledge we will be pro providing you with the uh, with the exact knowledge that is required for the uh, for the market right now uh fees and from uh, so uh, we have different courses as i mentioned for like if you going ahead with the data science uh, we have uh, four different courses and we have seven domain specialization in those so uh, like uh, our counselor will get in touch with you and uh, they might be the better person to like uh, like um, give you a uh, like um, what should i say personal guidance i can say because uh, they'll be talking to you they'll be uh listening or everything about you and um like they can provide you with a better solution and the fees structure how many attendees offline labs and uh so um offline labs in learn so uh, like uh we have our uh, like um uh, uh, what should i say uh, project centers in seven different cities if that is the answer to your question um pursuing my data science degree and i am a third years uh yeah you you can go ahead with the like uh, simultaneously you can start with the learn based studies as well so uh, like uh, in addition to your college studies you will be getting uh, like hands on experience in life projects and uh, but else like um, like you will be studying you will be getting the knowledge of the uh, coding from the scratch and like you will be uh, like uh, getting the experience to work with uh, more experienced people uh, uh, do you have any more questions uh, and uh, like if you like um, after the session if you still have any questions you can uh, uh, directly send an email to me or you can add me uh, through your linkedin as well uh, so my email id is shloka.jain it's s h l o k a dot j a i n at the rate learnbay dot co okay so thank you so much guys for attending and uh, utkarsh uh, like uh, do you have anything to say yeah so again same thing guys so i i think many of the students are looking for the uh, real time hands on experiences uh, so same thing uh, it's not possible in one day session uh, it will be requiring some base level knowledge before we go into that and for that you have to have join some sort of uh, training program so again um, uh, as of now uh, i i will be wrapping up the session here only but yes if you guys have any other kind of questions or doubts so you can always connect with shloka if you are not uh, comfortable with shloka then definitely you can connect with me okay so you can always ping me and uh, and i'm just kidding you can always ping shloka as well she will always try to help you as per her capabilities and i will also do the same so whoever you are comfortable with you can always ping us over the linkedin or probably you can drop a mail to shloka i will not be available all the time because i am a working professional i am just giving i'm i'm just partly connecting on the uh, part time basis with the learnbay for the training purposes but shloka is the uh, full time employee with learnbay and she will be available for your help all the time so that's all from my side uh, i think thanks a lot everyone and have a nice day have a nice weekend and hope to see you soon in the classes yeah. okay yeah thank you everyone yeah.